folks, you really just can't make this stuff up, honestly. So the New York Post is saying today that Rudy Giuliani was served with Arizona fake electors indictment during his 80th birthday party bash in Palm Beach at Mar-a-Lago, also known as Bayou Larange. It says that Rudy Giuliani's 80th birthday bash in Palm Beach was stormed like it was Normandy as the former New York City mayor was served with notice of his Arizona indictment, sources told the Palm Beach Post. In front of nearly 75 guests, two officials with Arizona's Attorney General's office arrived at the shindig around 11 p.m. to hand Rudy Giuliani the papers in the case, alleging he and 17 others were involved in a plot to overturn the 2020 election, sources said. Some partygoers started screaming, and one woman even cried as Rudy Giuliani was served. Now, it, it's told that he had just finished singing New York, New York. Thank God they let him finish that, right? So he finished that, and then he was served. He promptly got in his car and just left. Just left. No comment, nothing. So the the whole thing that uh, he was served for, folks, was this. Uh, the Trump fake electors plot. And Wikipedia says... After the results of the 2020 United States presidential election determined U.S. President Donald Trump had lost, a scheme was devised by him, his associates, and the Republican Party officials in seven states to subvert the election by creating and submitting fraudulent certificates of ascertainment to falsely claim Trump had won the Electoral College vote in those states. The intent of the scheme was to pass the fraudulent certificates to then-Vice President Mike Pence in the hope that he would count them. Thank God he did not rather than the authentic certificates and thus overturn Joe Biden's victory. So the irony of this event, folks, I just want to set this up for you, and I've got some video I want to show you. The irony of this whole event is that they're patting each other on the back for trying to stop the steal, trying to stop the steal of the 2020 presidential election, while they themselves were actively doing just that, trying to steal the 2020 election. These are some pretty bad hombres, folks, and it's amazing to me that the election's even this close, to be honest with you. Um, You know, as I said, you've got Steve Bannon that was at this event. You've got um, Roger Stone, complete with his Nixon tattoos on his back, for God's sakes. And it's just amazing to me that these people did try to subvert the 2020 election and they're let's face it they're probably going to try to do it in this election that's coming up the whole time they're doing that they're accusing the other side of doing exactly what they're doing you see how that works why are we this close in the election folks why are we this close so i've got this clip that i want to show you so this is the arrival of steve bannon to the event and take a look at this so the pretty black lady on the left here she makes a face and i don't know exactly what's up with that is she kind of pursing her lips and there she goes I mean is is she kind of saying that Steve Bannon stinks or something I mean so there he is Steve Bannon large and in charge in more ways than one he's got his pens in his top pocket there why does he have five pens does he I mean there's something not quite right there not not quite right and then he sat down with Rudy Giuliani at the table and said that I gotta tell you, right now, th- this is how dangerous they know this guy is. They have every instrument of state power to crush Rudy Giuliani, to bankrupt him, to put him in jail, to smear him. Uh, we're not gonna let it happen. Yeah. Okay. Whoa! Love you, love you. They did. Not, not, not only are you too good a man, you're too. Rudy, at 80 years old, how many people at 80 years old, your moments now finally come. This is what America needs you the most, right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. right. That Thanks, true. right? And we're not going to win in, 20, in 2024 unless you're a major part of this. So let's hear it for Rudy Giuliani. Yeah. So, folks, he proceeded, as I said, to go up and sing New York, New York, and then was served the paperwork. And keep in mind, folks, that not only are they actively trying to subvert the election with a fake elector scheme, but Rudy Giuliani also accused two election workers of committing election fraud to change the outcome of the 2020 election and terribly defamed these two election workers to the point that a jury awarded the two workers $148 million for his defamation. And 
I mean, it's just amazing to me that these people are some pretty bad hombres, you know, actively trying to subvert the election, actively trying to subvert the election, the fake elector scheme, the find the votes, right? Donald Trump said to Raffensperger in Georgia, just find the votes. They themselves, active participants in trying to subvert an election, yet they accuse people on the other side of doing the same thing that they themselves have done. Why is the election this close, folks? You can't make this stuff up. Till next time.